So today we are meeting to uh, discover the West of Moon oracle that you have created. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about this deck? Um, the artist for this deck is Diana Rengina. She's from Latvia and she's one of my favorite uh, illustrator and artist. So all those cards from the decks, I'm sure. And uh, this is actually metaphorical and oracle cards at the same time, because you can use instruction mm -hmm. and it will guide you to the uh, signs on the cards. Mm -hmm. So here is signs and you will just find the meaning or you can just remove it mm -hmm. and use it as a an oracle deck. An oracle, yeah. There is something that I have seen in this deck, which are the faces of people. There are a lot of faces with long uh, nose. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually this is uh, one of special thing of this artist because she really likes birds. Mm. And birds are quite uh, famous parts of uh, Latvian folklore. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of traditions. Mm -hmm. Like they have a song uh, which I call in the birds every spring. Mm. See, yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. this, this uh, there is also tattoos. You see, like for example, her face has uh, um, some tattoos, um, and these we find them in many many cultures also. So, is there a meaning for them, uh, or is it just inspired? Uh, well, we must ask Diana about that, but I'm pretty sure that they do because um, one of the popular what for tattoos are moon and sun mm. sometimes uh, it's a dragons like on this one mm. oh, and that's I, true i didn't see this one yeah <laughs> if you start to look yeah and did you see the cups with the eye yes this one looked at this and this one looked at her <laughs> so many details in this card there is also this this thing about the tea you know it's i mean when i did the review of this deck there are so many teas and cups in this deck as if it's inviting us to you know, take a moment <laughs> and, <laughs> and enter a magical thing. You know, it reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Is, is it specific also for this artist and uh, the culture deck? Well, I'm not sure about culture, but I know that she like uh, herbs and all those plant ornaments. As you see, actually, even well, only in winter cars we don't see some flowers because it's winter, but we still see some trees. Mm. Here we see, we see autumn trees. And here is jasmine, like mm -hmm. almost every card has some plants on it. Mm, and there is fire also. I, the, there is different places where there is fire. Fire or camp, uh, it reminds me of a camp. Um, like these rabbits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rabbits in a camp. Yes. Actually, uh, another thing about Diana, uh, she used really dark uh, background because, well, life can be dark and it can be long winters. Mm -hmm especially in, in that part of the world. But there is only counteracting fire on it, which give you uh, which give you hope and feeling of mutants, mm -hmm. as you see by this, like this fire collected them. Mm. What about foxes? That foxes are everywhere. I don't know if there are dogs. I think foxes. this is wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is wolf. <laughs> but I remember, yeah, there was some foxes. Many, actually, I see so, so many. Like uh, this one. Yes. <laughs> this, this card collects all our previous conversation. There are herbs, fox, uh, women with the tattoos. With tattoos <laughs> yes, uh, with, the, with the nose. And I'm pretty nose. sure they're picking these flowers for tea. For tea, yes. Mm. So yeah. tell me more about the folk stories. I, I mean, when I see these cards, I feel as if I am reading a story or a fairy tale. Uh, is there a fairy tale that is coming with these cards, or have you thought about it? Actually, when I, I just started to think about the cards, I wanted to make it as a part of a story which you can create. Mm. But actually, in the end, I decided to do with the signs, so it would be easier, but you still can create the story. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the book, there are some techniques you can use. Mm -hmm. You can imagine the situation with the mm -hmm. work. Or you can use instead of a month, you can actually use yes some some spreads. Yeah, yeah. I love the idea of the signs. I mean, this 
we don't have the numbers in the cards. We, we just see the signs. Uh, and this is really interesting uh, also. Did you, how did you try, how, how did you choose a sign for each card? <laughs> That's funny because uh, actually I did not choose any, well, I didn't have any plans for any, so I just took a card. Firstly, I wrote description on it as mm. I felt, and some cards was really difficult to interpret. Mm. And then I just uh, took a sign from my mind. For instance, this one reminds me Isa rune. Mm -hmm. You know Isa? It's like a um, card of stillness. Mm -hmm. and doing nothing and awaiting him mm -hmm. so that's why this symbol I decided to make very volcanic mm -hmm. and others just came to my mind mm. like mm -hmm. <laughs> this one this one I guess it's because of those you know straw mm -hmm. um, huts yeah. you make from straw when you make a hut harvest and maybe we are harvest. seeing something there I don't oh, maybe the there house, yeah so. there is a moon too mm. what's up the moon well, tell me more about the name ah do you know this fairy tale well tell me more about it <laughs> there is, there is. <laughs> yeah there is a there is a fairy tale the name is uh east of the sun west of the moon mm. and if i if i'm not mistaken it's um it's neither Irish or Norwegian folklore, I, and it's fairy tale about girl. Well, it's probably Scandinavian one, but it's translated to many languages. That's why it's <laughs> already difficult to understand. But uh, it's about girl who have to go to the kingdom of a white bear, mm -hmm. and she lives with him. And he's actually not a bear, of course. He's a prince, a charming one, mm -hmm. and then she have to. Uh, how to say to take this to uncharm mm -hmm. to <laughs> uncharm <laughs> unchant <laughs> he's chanting so he he needs to be enchanted break the break the charm yes yes break to spell yeah mm. release him and he become a human being in the end so uh, will this deck make us a human being again <laughs> yes <laughs> actually the idea of this deck for me was you know that every human being life is a uh, it's kind of story or fairy tale mm -hmm. which he or she speak about her or him mm -hmm. about ourselves because actually we're physically just only in this moment right mm -hmm. and if we wouldn't have our memory we could be everything yes we could create any past of us mm -hmm. so in it's the end, beautiful that you are talking about this where the show in this like walking away and as if I don't know, we are leaving something behind to create something new. Or I, I like this idea of announcing, using the strong to announce something also. Diana actually told me about this card that um, she made it listening to the song about Moon who lead the, the horse with the children. Or maybe it was just the horse and she created the children. Mm -hmm. And this is like a folk. Mm -hmm. And actually, maybe they are also folk, maybe they're not real, mm -hmm. but he's like providing them through some darkness mm. with the sound and light. This is beautiful. Okay, so for those who are watching or listening to us, maybe we can do something. Maybe we can do a spread or uh, we do reading. Let's say maybe we invite them to choose a question, a burning question that they are having at the moment. Whether uh, should I change this job? Should I create this project? Should I leave this house? Should I uh, travel this summer or <laughs> this year? Whatever is the question, maybe we can we can maybe do something. Um, what do you think? Yeah. So I'll mix. Actually. Yeah. Let's mix the cards. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm impatient to see what the cards will say. <laughs> so, how many cards? Five. Let's see one. Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love so much this card. <laughs> Another cup of tea. Wow, oh, this is really interesting. This one, I like citrus. I like, yeah, that's true. Wow. 
and I love this doing this with you because it's it brings a lot of richness to to what we yeah. So the question was let's let's do a reading for any question our friends <laughs> might have. So let's let's do it intuitively and see what what so the question is the question. The question I don't know what is the question. It depends on people who are watching. Ah, so okay. maybe we can do it just intuitively. <laughs> but I didn't have it okay, let's uh do the next one. Let's me ask the question about myself so I can explain it. That's good. Or I can ask about I don't know about something you chose like next month next month what, what will happen? be in june <laughs> what will be in june and maybe that there would be something that speak to to our friends who are watching or listening so what about starting with the first card that you you, you are showing here this is something the the bird is here yeah uh, inter uh like interpretation of this card was um uh, inner voice because uh, we are not hearing it all the time. Sometimes our panic or our thoughts are too loud and we don't hear what we really want. So this uh, bird, which is instrument, music, music instrument, mm. it's kind of our inner voice. Yeah. And this girl, she looks like a bird too. So she's kind of connected with, the, with mm. her. This is whole piece. Beautiful. This card I like so much, and actually there are several cards uh, from uh, Life of a Sun, as they name it. I don't know what Diana means in this card. Maybe she was created by some fairy tale about sun. Mm -hmm. But I imagine this uh, as a sun having the rest somewhere when we don't see it. Mm -hmm. Because ancient people, they imagine sun, sun just hide from them and wait somewhere, like in the home, mm -hmm. in the sky. So... This is what Sun actually doing in the free time when she doesn't work. Here is she, here is the woman, and we can see the stars. And also, it reminds me of her hair. You know that story of of the lady that was uh, hidden in the in the castle, and she Rapunzel. used yes, yes. <laughs> um, so maybe it will be uh, you know I'm hidden and I'm waiting for the right moment or the right the charming prince that's coming so there's something about waiting mm -hmm. and preparing internally and she's actually making decorations in her house you yes see? yes and i think she really enjoys what, uh, what she's doing yes she's very complete on this card i feel like the preparation um, mm. yeah like getting ready for festivity festivity mm -hmm. or maybe some friends are coming <laughs> <laughs> And she's decorating her apartment. Yeah. Mm. The next one is beautiful. The the friends are coming. <laughs> the friends are mm -hmm. coming. Mm -hmm. Actually, the my meaning was uh, which you read in instruction circle of preparation, because to to make a tea, you have to go through many steps, like from the seed to flower, and mm -hmm. then you dry the flower, and in the end you have a tea. So it's about processes which are long in really long time. It's not a quick process. It's mm -hmm. not a day or week. It's like a year here in this card. So this is like a whole year. And there's something interesting also. Maybe you can put it, uh, do it with my hand like this. So can you show the card? Okay. There's, there's something interesting about watering. There's watering tea, mm -hmm. but watering also the earth. As mm -hmm. if there's something that needs to be watered, needs to be nurtured in order to grow. And to benefit from it after. Yes, I think it's about intentions which we must feed by mm -hmm. our powers, by our energy mm -hmm. and activity. Mm -hmm. So because nothing is growing without help. That's true. Yeah, that's beautiful. And I like the sweet thing, as if yeah, I nurturing you like a little bonus. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It doesn't need to be done like you know with harshly. It can be done like in sweet thing, sweet way. Yeah. Actually, all this card is it's just a Sweet. circle of a joy. <laughs> yes, that's true. What about the next one? It's different, right? We have we have tea, but yes, this it's... one is more about break uh, during the hard work. Maybe we can show it more. Yeah, this okay. way. Okay, good. A little bit up, like this, and like this. That's okay, awesome. You can see this <laughs> yes, I want to see that. Birds with a gem. <laughs> I guess this is strawberries. 
So mm. this is little break during some big work. Yeah. But this card tell us about we have to care about ourselves too and to make a little breaks for joy mm -hmm. or a cup of tea, maybe with your friends. And this is really important. Not to make any hard job hard for you. Mm -hmm. Hard job can be also enjoyable if you make some breaks, if you give yeah. yourself some rest. And also there is something about rest, you know, like work, rest, because there is the sunset. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sunset, there is about... Or maybe this is sunrise. Vacation, I'm feeling like, <laughs> I, okay, I did all what I did, uh, it's done, I need to detach mm -hmm. and go on vacation, you know. Yeah. Uh, sweet. Well, I hope that our friends here have maybe some guidance from these cards. <laughs> yeah, so do you want to do another spread or I think Let's that's... Let's uh, maybe pull the card for June or the couple some the cards. For summer. Let's do it for summer. For summer. Summer. Yeah, summer just started. For those who... Or the season. For those who will be watching this video <laughs> in another time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so... Your intention in June or summer or the season you are having. <laughs> okay, this is the main one. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> we, were, we were talking about it earlier, right? Yeah. Well, something good is going on. Mm. It's dark around, so maybe it would seem to you that times are hard, but actually we are going to the light. Yes. And also this card for me, it's about coming sunrise. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Because um, the fog, it usually go in the morning mm -hmm. and then sunrise. Sunrise. There is also these flowers that are hidden in the darkness, as if... Yeah, they like a little bit shining here, mm -hmm. with the light of the moon. Mm -hmm. I wanted to show, show you one more card, because I like this one too. I need this one, it's really <laughs> nice too. Some cards, some cards are kind of uh, cold, with yes. a cold spirit, and, and others are very warm. Mm -hmm. A lot of wise women here, <laughs> like this one, yes. my favorite. And wise man also, I saw wise a bit man. like this one. Yeah, he, uh, he's giving secret of a tea probably, mm. just mean tea. And this, this is, is sleeping so sun, <laughs> <laughs> the sun sleeping during, <laughs> after, she decorated, <laughs> after she decorated her <laughs> apartment. I cannot find the card. Oh, I don't know why. Okay, maybe it doesn't want to show today. <laughs> it was all, ah, this one. Yes. Also the sun and also kind of Rapunzel because she's connecting yes. the water and I really like this girl in the boat. Oh. She look at her as to her greatest mother. Yes. And there is something coming to my mind as if we are the mirror of the sun. Yeah. We are the mirror of the sun. Even if we are tiny in this earth, you know. Mm. Everything is a reflection and there is this river. And maybe the sun is seeing herself in another dimension. Maybe she looks to her as a mirror. As like, a mirror. how do I look today? Uh, <laughs> yeah. How, how do oh, I... not bad, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> how do I look in this in this planet? How do I look in this mirror? Mm -hmm. And see this beautiful girl. Beautiful. Well, that was very nice. Thank you very much, Yana, for showing your deck. Thank you. Thanks and. So much. Uh, answering the questions i had <laughs> about okay. the time so uh oh you have created also a box a special box for this deck um that includes a lot of beauties um so uh, i might uh, you know invite our friends here to check it out on the website uh to see because it's it's a beautiful box all right so we went talking it. and talking about the box and uh, i think it would be better to <laughs> to end it here for now um maybe we uh, we will have another discussion another topic because there are other decks you have right uh yan and mama shamana yan and mirror of mama shamana right so maybe we'll talk about them another time um is there any final message for our friends here Give yourself rest 
and enjoy every mom moment of a summer because summer is just well in Russia is three months here is longer in Europe <laughs> but everyone stays yes. in different places just yes. enjoy the summer yeah so I wish you a very nice day and I will see you again with another video have fun bye bye